It's kind of funny. I bashed Disney a few times, but I gave a pat on the back. And now I'm coming back to actually defend them. So I'm defending Disney when it comes to the Spider-Man deal. So recently Sony was like, yeah, um, we learned all that we need to do to make a Spider-Man movie. So we're leaving you. I mean, negotiation was cool and all, but you're asking too much. Apparently you're now asking from 5% to 50% or heck you want to, you go leeway and say 25 to 50% we choose. And we're like, no. I think we know how to actually make a Spider-Man movie, so we're leaving you, and it's like, okay, so you're leaving them, right? It's like, you know how to make a freaking Spider-Man movie, huh? Well, I'm sorry, but you're just wrecking shit right now. You're just making a horrible mistake, Sony, because it's like, you... All right, let me just try to remember right quick. So, Spider-Man 3 for me was the most horrible movie ever. And then you have Sam Raimi, who's going to make Spider-Man 4. He was going to make it at least a good send-off before it truly was going to leave. But you apparently pressured him and say, yeah, make it faster, make it faster, make it faster. Without him actually allowing to think and breathe. And, yeah, you just allow him to screw it. You just wanted him to screw up again. And it's like he left. And then you just said, oh, finally, we are able to do it. And it's like, your Spider-Man sucked ass. I mean, seriously. The producers are there and they're basically puppeting the freaking writing, writing crew and the freaking director. Yeah, it's just like what happened previously with freaking X-Men Origins that someone later told me. It's like, yeah, um, they did reshoots on that movie. And they now have the guy who was responsible for the reshoots in that movie now part of Sony. And I'm like, oh, well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you guys are in good company forcing per, um, directors to reshoot stuff. So it looks like you guys are in good company together. But it's, it's like, I don't know what to really tell you. Disney is it's not a bad deal because and Spider-Man movies are making pretty good money. They're making more money than what previously happened, right? So you're telling me you can't split the piece of that pie at all? That you actually are like, no, no, no. We want to have still have the same amount and you guys can have whatever. And then someone actually came and said, yeah, well, you guys can't actually give much attention to Spider-Man than we can. And it's like, what the frick are you talking about, bastard? He was He's able to multitask me. Kevin Feige is able to multitask. As for what's going on with the TV shows, apparently they needed a middleman because one person's in California, the other person's in New York. They need a middleman who goes back and forth to them both. That's what they really needed. I wish they would have thought of it, but of course, you know how it is. If they would have got a middleman, you have to make sure the middleman knows secrets. Yeah, it's like you have to make sure the middleman can keep bunches of secrets, you know, and make sure that they don't know who the middleman is. Because if everyone knows who the middleman is, they go ask him and then he's going to spill too many of the beans. And it's like, oh, geez. So the whole thing of someone saying, oh, but Spider-Man's in good hands now because Sony, they couldn't do anything. The MCU can't do anything with him because he wasn't standing on as his own character. And I'm like. Well, because we're trying to make sure it's a connected universe. I mean, what exactly else you want, man? It's like the movies are doing good so far. And yes, it seems like it's too leaning before it's Tony Stark. But look what's going on with the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, jerk bag. The Ultimate Spider-Man comics, he looked up to Iron Man. He sure did. He looked up to Iron Man. Iron Man gave him his next web shooters before his death on his birthday. So he actually got to use the web shooters like two months and then died. It's like, yeah, he had those for two months and he died. <laughs> he looked up to Captain America and Captain America ran away like a wuss. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And Punisher's the jerk bag too, shooting Spider-Man and not going to Spider-Man. Like, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I meant to get Captain America. Well, um, I'll help you. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know medical. I know medical. I can patch you up. It's like, 
He didn't do any of that crap. He just went home and, he, and he's like, oh, frick, look, the Sinister Five is there to beat your ass. And it's like, oh, what the frick? <laughs> but still, they're making it very, very connected like the Ultimate Universe because beforehand, Spider-Man, the actual Spider-Man in 616, he didn't really have any actual inter anything with the freaking Avengers. He didn't really have any interaction until later on. But beforehand, it was just him. We didn't see him with the Avengers. While when it comes to Ultimate Spider-Man, he did have some involvement with the Avengers. And then eventually, of course, he was working with S.H.I.E.L.D. and coordinating with shield and everything else so it's like yeah even though nick fury was on him and it's kind of like what happened in spider-man far from home nick fury is on him so it's like yeah kind of like an ultimate spider-man vibe going on here and well as for the villains it's like well if that's true that oh sony has the villains then how the frick were they able to use scorpion they actually had freaking vulture in the movie they had the Prowler in the movie. It's like they have so many freaking villains that were in the movie that popped up. It's like, you can't really say that. Plus, they had Mysterio. It's like, yes, I get it. Oh, yes, they owned all of Spider-Man Rose Gallery. But the thing is that it was a two-way street. They were going to make the movie, but Sony gets the okay on the villains. So it's like, yeah, even though that didn't work well in Spider-Man 3, am I right? <laughs> also Amazing Spider-Man 2. So it's like, yeah, but at least they're doing good except for the whole eight years later bull crap. And it's like, well, good job, Sony. Yeah, the whole, you know how to tell stories about Spider-Man and you did that horrible shit. And, <laughs> and then you omitted what was going on in this um, Civil War where the footage doesn't line up. He cussed in Civil War. And said, you're like, oh, dip, he evolved. Oh, dip, he got big. I got to go. It's like. If only you would have coordinated that a little bit better, that would have been great. So for Sony to have Spider-Man now and it's stuff on the cliffhanger, it will do. You can actually do something. You can do something decent. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to do something. And the writers from the two Spider-Man films, they're there. And well, sadly, um, Disney's trying to actually pull a fast one and get the director, John Watts, out of it. And I'm like, oh, man because business is business and you know how it is i mean shoot but spider-man 3 is coming out <laughs> oh good lord now they're going to freaking screw over another spider-man 3 do we really want this do we really want sony to be a part of it's like sony it's only sony, sony you should allow them to do this one more movie so at least the good news is that if you do bring back Spider-Man, it's now in Spider-Man 4, not on 3. Because 3, we saw what you did. It's horrible. It was hideous. I don't even want to remember that you did a third one <laughs> in the freaking Sam Raimi trilogy. Yeah, so it's like, you should have waited. <laughs> you should have waited one more movie. After that one more movie, you'll be fine. It's like, yeah, so at least you'll ruin Spider-Man 4 for us. I mean... You already ruined Spider-Man 2, Amazing Spider-Man 2 for us, even though I say it was pretty decent. It's just that you fricked over the ball at the last inning. Instead of being like, shoot the goal, shoot it. You shot the goal. Well, actually, you shot the goal and it's a little, you shot the goal again. It's like you, you, you just kick up and then you have to still kick up. It's like very, very short distances kick to the goal. And that's what you did with Amazing Spider-Man 2. Just short distances to the goal. For some reason, instead of just shooting and making it happen. Instead, you had to just make it little small shoots. But seriously, man. I don't see what exactly Sony has to freaking whine about. It's like, I know back in the day, I had stuff to whine about Disney about. Because they canceled Amazing I mean, Spectacular Spider-Man. That was bullcrap. But when it comes to this movie, when it comes to movies, period, it's like the animated series of Spider-Man is not going anywhere. I don't see any new animated series on that. And I'm like, what the hell? And then now you're taking the movie away. And I'm like, yeah, but we left on a cliffhanger. What the hell is this shit? What the frick, Sony? 
And then you're expecting to bring it back in theaters and doing the exact same thing as Avengers Endgame. And it's like, yeah, well, frick you guys, because why did you take Spider-Man away? It was a good story. The story's going good, and you just freak it all over. You just you just knocked over the board when we're having a good game of cards. I don't know what is your problem is, but I'm pretty sure the whole we understand how to do Spider-Man films. Okay, we got this now, and we're gonna take him because we got this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't count years, though, bastards. Just like Disney, you both can't count years. They count. They can't count years when it comes to TV shows, and you can't count years when it comes to actually doing movie stuff. Just like yeah, so intermar logging. It's like oh, three years later. Oh yeah, and Peter Parker's now twenty three years old. Oh my gosh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like yes, three years later. It's like someone is messing up on the freaking adding. And you don't even have to put year, you have to put numbers in it. All you have to just say years later and it'll be fine. Trying to do the math is not a good idea to do. And you're like, oh, we got this. It's like, I don't think you do. I'm pretty sure you're going to be like, oh, four months later. When he's like, you just put months later, man. Just put months later. That's fine. Put months later. You don't have to put four months later. You don't have to put eight months later. All you got to do is just put months later and we'll be fine. But apparently you're, I'm signing with Disney on this. I'm defending Disney. What Disney has done, which is try and actually get more money out of it, is actually a suitable and smart idea. Because Spider-Man is getting lots more money than what you expected to get more money. Of course, we know Spider-Man is popular and stuff, but they didn't project that it's going to go this big. So it's like, of course, they're going to ask for more money. And Sony's like, oh, well, we know what to do. It's like, I'm pretty sure after five years, you might not know what the fucking do. <laughs> I mean, you fumbled the horrible, you fumbled the ball in Spider-Man Homecoming. As for Spider-Man Far From Home, you fumbled the ball again because you allowed them to put that cliffhanger in there. It's like, out of anything you should do, you should cut the cliffhanger if you're going to cut ties with freaking Disney. If not, you made the cliffhanger, you're going to have to sit there and say, mm-hmm, I agree. It's like, mm-hmm, I'm agree, but only for one more movie. It's like, at least do that. It's like, at least do that. So you have a clean slate of what to do and we can see exactly what's supposed to happen instead of your crap of, we got this. We know how to write the movies. We know how to tell Spider-Man stories. No, I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure you don't. And don't you dare goosebumps us. Don't you dare Arl Stein us where it's like, oh, um, yeah, we forgot all about him revealing his identity and stuff, but here's some five years later <laughs> freaking damn it years later you bastards